Hello, dear soulmates. You're welcome to today's tutorial on Benny Sales. My name is Benedicta, and today I'm going to be sharing the simplest method of cutting and attaching a balloon sleeve with an elastic. So, guys, a very simple tutorial. So, let's head over to the cutting table. So, guys, I'm making use of this door face, this white door face for my sleeve. So, basically, that's all is left on this fabric actually. For this dress actually so the it's just the sleeve and then the neck line so here I'm going to be sharing with you how I cut and attach my bell my balloon sleeve I don't know why I'm saying bell sleeve anyway so first off I'm going to be cutting the two sleeves at once so I'm going to fold uh, by two and then fold again into four places okay, here I have a half yard of um, doll face so considering the length, putting the length into consideration, the length of your sleeve actually into consideration and then adding 5 inch minimum to it. So that's, the, that's what is going to determine where and how you are going to fold your fabric. So I'm going to have to fold it into four. And then the first thing I'm going to do right now is to mark out our starting point, it's just the way we usually do anyway. So from there we're going to measure it, taking the other measurements. So the first thing I'm going to be doing right now is measure out 5 inches, okay? So the sleeve I'm working with is 11 inches. The 5 inches is not inclusive of the 11 inches. So 5 inches, I will explain that later and then I'm going to mark it out 11 inches for my sleeve. And then since I'm going to be encasing um, elastic, I'm adding one and a half inch. So measuring that from my starting line, I have 17 and a half. I'll move inward and then I'm going to mark 17 and a half. I hope this is planetary enough. Okay. So if you need any clarification, I'll be in the comment section to take your questions. So I'm going to have to mark out my straight line right there. So the next thing I'm going to be doing right now um, is to... This sleeve actually doesn't necessarily take any... Um, there's no... So too much serene. Sorry for that. You need to just mark out the angle freehand method. Okay, to determine where you're going to be stopping for the angle, from that five inch mark, mark your arms eye. The arms eye I'm working with is three and a half. So measuring that from the top is seven and a half. So that is where I'm going to be ending my um angle for okay. So right there. I'm going to mark it. No standard measurement for this, okay? So just to make it, just let it look like a sleeve because you're going to be either pleating or making um, um, ganders. So from the edge there at the hem, I'm going to be coming by one inch and I'm going to connect that to the armhole. So basically we are done and I'm going to be cutting this out. So guys, if you're new on our channel, please Go down below, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and then comment, like, and share. So, here I'm almost done with the cutting of my sleeve. Very simple, very, very simple. So, here we are done. So, here we are done. This is the two sleeve. One is inside, this is one, and this is the second one. Okay, very simple, yeah. So guys, next thing I'm going to do right now is to separate and notch, separate and notch the the shoulder part of my armhole. That is the upper part of my um uh, my sleeve rather. Okay, so here I'm done. I'm notched one of them, and I'm going to notch the second one. So here we have it. So remember we left one and a half inch hem, um, elastic casing allowance. So here I'm going to fold by half and then fold by one again. Do you understand? Okay, if we don't, please, I'll be in the comment section to take your questions. So I've gone ahead to pin that. So the same thing for the second one. I'll fold in half of an inch first and then fold again by one. Okay. Remember, we left one and a half inch. So I'm, I'm, I'm done sewing that. I've gone over to the sewing machine and I've sewn that already. And this is what we have for our two sleeves. Okay. So here we have for our two 
sleeves so here is the, uh, the elastic i'm going to be making i think i have over 20 inches here and i don't need all that anyway i think for one sleeve i need eight inches so for the two sleeve, I'll, sleeves i'll be making use of 16 inches so eight sleeve for eight inches for one of the sleeves i'm um, eight for the it mustn't be eight anyway it depends on the circumference of the sleeve length you're working with it could be more than eight it could be less than eight but for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to be making use of eight inches elastic okay so using my safety pin i'm going to be using this to encase put it in the in the case that we made already for our elastic okay please take note of the other edge so it doesn't slip in and then you have to start the over again so i've gone ahead to hold that with a pin okay then i'm going to continue and then bring it out from the other end of the sleeve so this is a very simple tutorial okay it's very simple So guys, I'm done with one of the sleeves and this is what we have. So I'm going ahead. I'm going to go ahead to sew it on the side up to the armhole area. Okay? So this is what we have. So I'm going to be doing the same thing to the other sleeve. I'm going to be doing the same thing for the other sleeve. So guys, I've gone ahead to sew it down and here is one of our sleeves. And then I'm going to notch the edge. So bringing back the fabric, yeah? <coughs> Sorry guys. I'm going to be attaching the armholes. That is the side seam of the fabric and the armhole um, length of the of the sleeve so i'm going to be pinning it down so it doesn't move around then i'm taking the upper part that part where we notched earlier i'm placing it on the shoulder line of the fabric of the dress rather and i'm going to pin that down too okay so here so the next thing I'm going to be doing right now, then pulling out. So guys, sorry I, I failed to mention, make sure the sleeve is, the right sides are facing. The front, the right side of the sleeve is facing the right side of your fabric, okay? So the next thing I'm going to be doing right now is to mark measure four and a half inch upward and from the side seam, okay? And then pin. That's where I want my gathers or my... Uh, pleats to start from so at this point you are entitled to whatever you want to do it could start from anywhere your gathering or your um pleats could start from anywhere you could even start from the arm or armhole armhole depth okay but for the sake of this sleeve i'm starting from the four inches away from that armhole depth or the side seam whichever one you want to call it okay so i'm going to pin it like so so this remaining part is what we're going to be pleating or gathering okay so i'm going to bring the second sleeve and i'm going to do the same thing so if for a clearer understanding so i'm going to pin armhole to side seam okay armhole to side seam watch carefully and then i'm going to pin it it's kind of bulky, so the pin is, and then the shoulder, the shoulder line, and then notched upper parts, remembering front facing front, and I'm going to place that notch at that shoulder line, and I'm going to pin, okay? So here, I'm going to do the same, measure out four inches from that armhole depth okay upward four inches upward i think it's almost close to the mid armhole but not really at the mid armhole close to it anyway so i'm um, that's what i'm going to be doing i'm going to mark uh, measure my four inches 
and I'm going to pin it right there. So guys, like I said, this is all we have to pleat or gather, depending on your choice, okay? So I'm going to gather in that, or I think I'm going to be making gathers, okay? So like I said, it is optional, and then this is a very simple sleeve. So over to the sewing machine right now, I'm going to be starting from one side of that pin, that four-inch uh, mark that I made earlier that I pinned down, all the way to the armhole that to the other side of the four inch. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but look closely, you understand what I'm saying, okay? So from one end of the pin, that four inch mark I made earlier that I pinned down to the armhole depth and then up to the other side of the armhole, like so. Guys, like you can see the armhole depth there right there and i'm going to sew round it okay i'm removing the pin at the at the armhole depth there so i'm going over to the other side okay i think i started from the back the four inch um towards the back and i'm heading to the front side now I think that um, that is it, yeah. And then moving over to the four inch over there. So guys, I'm going to be making my garters here. I'm just making rough garters, okay? But distributing it um, equally, making equal distributions of it, of the garters, okay? So I'm going to see what I'm doing right here. I'm just folding it. I'll pinch and fold, pinch and fold, pinch and fold. And then I'm going to be using my fingers to actually guide and sew along the pleats or gathers that I've made already. Okay, so just watch closely. I guess you understand what I'm talking about. So here, guys, I'm sewing it still. So guys, this is it. I'm moving over to the other side. We've gotten to the shoulder line of the dress and then we're moving to the other side so i'm going to be distributing the um sleeves gathers evenly okay just the way we did for the other side i'm distributing it evenly and i'm going to be using my fingers to guide each of them and then sew on them accordingly okay so guys you can decide to actually gather this separate make the gathering on the on the sleeve first before actually attaching it to the fabric okay either way it's okay either if you want to gather it first before attaching it's okay if you want to do this it's actually okay okay so whichever one that works for you it's fine perfectly fine so here i'm done sewing and this is what we have so I'm going ahead to trim off those ropes I see. I'm going to hem the I'm going to be using my weaving machine to actually weave those um, rough edges you see right there. So for now I'm going to trim off the rough edges there. So here guys, we are done with not one of the sleeves, and this is what we have. Okay, so this is the reason why we left five inches above okay if you don't leave that five inches above it's actually going to make your sleeve shorter than the actual length okay so we have been able to tackle that 
short uh, that shortage at the sleeve length with the five inches that were left so guys i'm done sewing the two sleeves and this is what we have okay it's very easy very very easy very very easy do try it out and let me know how it's turned out i'll be in the comment section to answer your questions if you have any questions regarding how i made this okay I'll be in the comment section to answer your questions and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel because we have a lot to share and we're going to be learning from each other okay so do like share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you and see you in the next video thank you bye <laughs>